Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vasan Boraste from Department of Commerce, KTHM College, Nasik. Today I am going to discuss with you the chapter number 2 of financial accounting for the semester 2. That is uh, for yeah, final accounts of charitable trust. Where, where we will see, today we will see uh, first example of uh, this topic. So first let us see the example of uh, final account of charitable trust. You can take a screenshot of this example or you may write down it in your notebook. Uh, example is very easy. You have to read, read it carefully and then you have to solve it. First one is that following is the receipt and payment account for the West Sports Club Nashik for the year ended 31st March 2019. Receipt and payment account is given on the debit side there are certain receipts on the credit side there are certain payments on a particular date that is 31st March 2019. The first receipt is to read interest on investment 5000 to subscription 32000 entrance fee 8000 donation for building 30000 and rent receipt rupees 15000 in the same way there are certain payments which have been made in a particular year that is salary rupees 15000 building rupees 20000 furniture 15000 printing and stationery 3000 telephone expenses 7000 rent and taxes 7 uh, 3000 insurance 2000 investment 10000 and balance carried down that is a cash balance at the end of year that is rupees uh, 15,000. So in this way we have received 90,000 and we have uh, made a payment of rupees near about 75,000 and 15,000 is a balance carried down that means a closing cash of a charitable trust that is the West Sports Club. Now we uh, you can see here certain adjustment or additional information. First one is what uh, outstanding salary during the year rupees 1000. Second one is subscription due uh, of rupees 2000 for current year and rupees 1500 received in advance. Then prepared insurance of rupees 300. Uh, fourth adjustment is depreciate building and furniture at 5% and 10% uh, respectively. You are required to prepare income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st March 2019 and balance sheet as on that day. So, uh, as I mentioned in the last lecture that uh, the example will be given for you for a receipt and payment account and from the receipt and payment account you have to prepare uh, income and expenditure account and balance sheet. So, receipt and payment account is nothing but an, a cash account where you can see uh, whatever cash you, ha you have been received in a particular year it has to be mentioned on the receipt side. So, here you can see the cash received or we can say receipt side. And whatever payment you have, you have been made in a particular year, it has to be mentioned on the payment side. But from this, you can't identify how much profit you get or, or the particular word is surplus and how much deficit is there. So for finding out surplus and deficit for a particular financial year, we have to prepare a income and expenditure account. So in this example, you have to prepare income and expenditure account as well as balance sheet. Uh, income and expenditure account is what mm, whatever income you have been received in a particular year will be recorded on the income side and expenses will be recorded on the expenditure side and the balance sheet is uh, as you know very well that uh, what is called as balance sheet what kind of liabilities and assets should be there. So in this case uh, we have received some amount and we have made some payments so expenses will be debited on the income and expenditure side and income will be created. And if there is an asset, say for example, here you can see a building of rupees 20,000. This is the payment made for purchasing the building. So 20,000 will be on your asset or furniture will be your asset. Uh, and it, uh, it has to be mentioned on the asset side. So let us prepare uh, income and expenditure account and income uh, balance sheet. Here is the income and expenditure account in the books of the West Sports Club. You have to write down for uh, yeah, at least six column on the expenditure side there must be one inner column and one outer column on the income side in the, uh, the same column should be there uh, here you can see uh, the first example uh, first expenses uh, first uh, receipt interest on investment so interest on investment is uh, your income so it will be recorded over here interest on in, uh, interest on investment after that the second uh, uh, item is to subscription of rupees 32000 but on the subscription there are two adjustments subscription due rupees 2000 uh, for current year and 1500 received annual so if there is an adjustment we will uh, make a tick mark over here but it is not possible online so i am going to bold it so on a subscription there is adjustment outstanding salary so here is the salary salary have adjustment 
then prepaid insurance so uh, here the insurance amount uh, so yeah, on insurance there is adjustment, adjustment depreciate building and furniture so building and furniture have both have adjustment <coughs> so it will be um, write down in a inner column second uh, now we mention interest on investment here you can see interest on investment uh, rupees 5000 so uh, 5000 is our first item after that uh, we will uh, uh, we will see the next expenses uh, no sorry next income it is, uh, it is subscription so subscription is our income so you will write down subscription on the income side subscription of rupees 32000 uh, later on we will discuss about the adjustment then entrance fee, entrance fee is our income, so entrance fee will be recorded on the income side, that is entrance fee of rupees 8000. Uh, after entrance fee, there is a uh, donation for building, but uh, if you received any kind of donation which is for a specific purpose, at that time it has to be recorded on the uh, liability side of a balance sheet. So on the liability side of a balance sheet, donation for a building of rupees 30,000. Uh, 30, after that, rent received, that means you have received a rent of rupees. Uh, 15,000 so rent received is rupees 15,000 in this way you have recorded all the uh, debit side or receipt side of in, uh, recent employment account now we are going to consider a salary uh, payment side that first one is salary salary have adjustment building have adjustment and furniture have adjustment as you know building and furniture both are assets so it has to be recorded on the asset side and salary is your expenses so salary is to be recorded on the expenditure side so amount of salary is rupees 15,000 uh, so uh, for mentioning the salary, you have to uh, keep one row for uh, outstanding expenses. So, salary is rupees 15,000. We have mentioned in uh, it in our inner column. After that, we will uh, add outstanding uh, uh, later on while, uh, while we consider the adjustment. The next item is building of rupees 20,000 and furniture of rupees 20,000. Both have an adjustment. So, for both the assets, we will keep one uh, row for their adjustment. So, on the asset side, building is of rupees 20,000 one row for depreciation then furniture is of rupees 15000 uh, after that there is a printing and stationery so printing and stationery is rupees 10 uh, 3000 it is our expenses so we will mention the printing and stationery of rupees 3000 on the debit side or expenditure side of income and expenditure account after that uh, telephone charges is also our expenses rent and taxes also our expenses so printing and stationery rupees 3000 telephone charges rupees 7000 and rent and taxes rupees 3000 so all these three items will be debited on the uh, expenditure side. So telephone charges, uh, printing and stationery three thousand, telephone charges three thousand, seven thousand, and rent and taxes rupees three thousand. So all these three are our expenses. So we have mentioned it on the expenditure side. After that, we have insurance, and insurance have an adjustment. So it is it has to be recorded on the debit side uh, uh, with one row extra row. So here you can see insurance of rupees 2000, one extra row will for prepaid expenses. Then investment is of rupees 10,000, investment is our asset. So we will mention the investment on the asset side that is investment of rupees 10,000. Now all the uh, all the uh, balances of resident payment account have been put in an expenditure account or a balance sheet. but only one balance is there that is uh, by balance carried on of rupees 15,000 that means it is a closing cash so closing cash will be mentioned on the balance asset side of balance sheet so go to the asset and closing cash or we can say cash in a hand is of rupees 15,000 in this way your uh, income and expenditure account uh, is put forwarded now we will see one adjustment one by one first one is outstanding salary during the year of rupees 1,000 that means you have to add the salary in a salary and it has to be recorded on the liability side. In a simple way, salary amount is rupees 15,000, outstanding salary is rupees 1,000. So 15 plus 1 equal to 16,000 will be uh, in the outer column and outstanding salary that means you have to pay the salary in a particular year which has not been paid. So outstanding salary will be mentioned on the <coughs> liability side. So this is the first adjustment. Second adjustment is subscription due of rupees 2000 for current year and rupees 1500 received in advance. The simple meaning is that for current year you have we received rupees 2000 but you did not receive. And 1500 uh, should not be received but you received it in advance for a next year. So subscription of rupees 2000 it is not uh, it is your current year income but it is not received. So it has to be added in a, subs added in a subscription. So here. 
you can see add outstanding or receivable subscription of rupees 2000 subscription you have not been received it, it is your current year income but it did not receive so you have to mention rupees 2000 on the asset side that is subscription receivable or outstanding subscription of rupees 2000 uh, there is a 1500 that is a subscription received in advance that means the 1500 it is not your current year income if it is not your current year income then you have to be deducted it from uh, the subscription account or uh, subscription received account the amount is rupees uh, 1000 the amount is rupees 1000 that is subscription received in advance so here uh, less prepared or pre received subscription of rupees 1000 and the balance will be on the outer side that is 32 minus 2 equals to 30, uh, sorry 32 plus 2 equal to 34 30 plus, uh, 34 minus 1 equals to 33000 and subscription received of rupees 1000 in advance it is not your current year income so you have deducted it from your subscription uh, so it will be considered as a liability on the liability side subscription received in advance is rupees 1000 after that prepaid insurance is of rupees 300 prepaid insurance uh, means insurance paid in advance insurance your is your expenses but if it is paid in advance then it is not your current year expenses so on the debit side of insurance uh, of income and expenditure insurance is mentioned of rupees 2000 where you have to uh, deduct the prepaid insurance of rupees 300 so less 300 uh, and the balance amount is rupees uh, 1700 that is 1700 and prepaid insurance should be mentioned on the asset side that is prepaid insurance is of rupees 300 now the next item is depreciate building 5 percent uh, and furniture 10 percent that is respectively depreciate building and furniture at 5 percent and 10 percent that means depreciation on building 5 percent and furniture is on 10 percent so on the asset side there is a building of rupees 20,000 so depreciation on building is rupees 5 percent that means 5 percent of 20,000 is through 1,000 so 20,000 minus 1 equals to 19,000 and depreciation on building will be recorded on the debit side of income and expenditure account that is 1,000 after that the depreciation on furniture is of rupees 10 percent so uh, 10 percent of 15,000 equals to 1,500 and the balance will be 13,500 and the depreciation which is to be mentioned over here 1500 will be debited on the uh, debit side of income and expenditure account so you can see here the depreciation on furniture of rupees 1500 uh, after that there is no adjustment so now you can calculate the surplus or deficit whatever it may be so in this way you have mentioned all the expenditure over here and all the income over here uh, the income side is higher that is 33,000 plus 8,000 plus 15,000 plus 5,000 equal to 61,000. So the 61,000 is of your total income and uh, it has to be recorded on the receipt side. And the total expenses of this uh, example is, uh, is rupees 33,200 that is 16,000 plus 3,000 plus 7,000 plus 3,000 plus 1,700 plus 1,000 plus 1,500. You can use a calculator calculator is allowed so the uh, total debit side or total expenses of this example is rupees 33,200 uh, the example uh, the calculation is very simple you can calculate surplus by deducting rupees 33,200 from 61,000 so uh, 30 uh, 61,000 minus 33,200 balance is 27,800 it is called as a surplus and it is excess of income over expenditure that simply means income is more than expenses expenses are less income uh, income is more so in the uh, in this case there is a surplus of rupees 20700 as i earlier mentioned in the last lecture that surplus has to be added in the capital fund and if there is a deficit debit is, deficit has to be uh, deducted from the uh, capital fund here you can see the ca opening capital fund but here is no opening capital fund it is not given in the example so whatever surplus we have it has to be uh, considered as a uh, capital fund for current year or we can say it is ca calculated capital fund for the current financial year so it is called as a surplus so here capital fund of, of uh, capital fund account of opening balance plus surplus equal to 27800 
and now you can tally your balance sheet uh, that uh, the balance sheet is tallied for 59,800 that is 27,000 plus 30,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 so total is 59,000 you can see your total is 59,800 the calculator use is allowed so you can use the calculator on the asset side 19,000 plus 13,500 plus 10,000 plus 300 plus 2,000 plus 15,000 the total comes to 59,800 that means our example is correct so in this way we can study the final account of charitable trust in the next lecture we will study an another example uh, in the same nature so thank you very much